Hi everyone, I'm Scott Stevenson and today I'm here at the Gill Hatch Center. We'll be going to be exploring the new and exciting iGen 5 press. Seated with me today is Paul Miller. First and foremost, what is the iGen 5 press? The iGen 5 press is the latest addition to the iGen family. It is based on the iGen 150's 2400 by 2400 imaging path. Uh, it introduces an optional fifth station for gamut extension using orange, green, and blue. Uh, as well as having a modular design. So customers can choose between three different speed points, 90, 120, and 150, and they also can upgrade as the, their business cha needs change. That's wonderful, and, and, and for all those customers who have iGens today, is there an upgrade path for them? Unfortunately not. Uh, due to the modifications we needed to make in the frame in order to make room, uh, an upgrade in the field is not possible. Why is the new architecture so important? Uh, the new architecture is important because it enables our customers to have the foundation for any future use cases of the fifth station as we continue to make uh, research and, and development uh, investments. Switching gears just for a moment, you talk about scalability and fifth color. How easy is it for our customers to work with this five color management and, and changing colors and so forth? We, we wanted to make it extremely easy. Um, if, a, if an operator can manage between queues, they can manage running four colors or five colors. Um, and as far as time, we made it extremely efficient. Um, we can switch out between the orange or the green or any of the colors uh, within 20 to 30 minutes. Wow, that's really good. So why don't we do this? Let's go out into the lab, take a look at some samples, check out the DFE, and take it from there. Scott, you asked, how do we manage between four and five color jobs? Let's look at some of the tools that are available. Let's preview the job to do a quick visual check. So looking at this job, it looks like orange will be the color that will, will most likely benefit this job when running in five color mode. If we go to the job properties, we can easily see how, to, how we can run between four color and five color mode. By choosing the five color mode, we then have the option to choose which gamut extension color we want to use. During our visual check, we saw orange. We're going to use orange. Now, we also have the option to choose whether or not we want to apply orange to just spot colors or if we want to apply it universally across the entire job. Paul, you've mentioned profiling. Where is that seen? If we want to look at profiles, we just go to the basic settings. And since we're now currently in five color mode, when we pull the drop down, down for the output profile, we have choices of all the five color profiles. If we go back to the four color mode and basic settings, the output profile automatically populates with the four color output profiles. Paul, how would I know if my job would benefit from a gamut extension or the, one of the three colors? We designed a tool which will help identify which color to use and the level of accuracy in the four color and five color mode. So here's the gamut extension tool. We broke this tool up into several columns. The further you are to the right, the more accurate the match. In this case, for 2178, we don't need a gamut extension color because it is within the CMYK gamut. Now, if we go to a color like Pantone 151, orange is the color we would want to load into the machine, and there's a dramatic improvement from the CMYK recipe to the CMYK plus orange recipe. So. What does this accuracy actually enable? Well, it helps the iGen 5 honor brand colors. It also helps people take advantage of the value of digital, which is versioning and personalization. And it also helps people put the, the job on the right production device based on the economics of the job as opposed to having to meet high color accuracy requirements. Hmm. Wonderful, that's great news, Paul. Let's go take a look at some samples. Paul, you got some amazing samples here. Please explain what we got. Sure, I wanted to show you a couple of examples where brand colors are more accurately represented using the five color process as opposed to the four color process. Same thing here with this Clearwater brand, the four color process to the five color process. And here in the blues, I wanted to show you just a bunch of the Pantones that are improved using the five color process. Well, really drives home some accuracies achieving the desired color. Yeah, absolutely. And 
In addition to brand colors and Pantones, we think that creatives will, will see the benefit of using the five color process to hit more vibrant colors, as you can see here in this green. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Paul, thank you very much for coming in, explaining what's going on with the iGen 5 Press. We really appreciate it. Thanks no again. Thanks, Scott.